Hello, this is Oscar with notagrouch.com. I'm going to show you today something that's pretty cool. It's a program called Tarpipe, actually a website. If you head over to tarpipe.com, you can sign up for an account. And once you have an account, what you can do is create this things called workflows. And if you're familiar with workflows or process charts, simply a step-by-step -step process expressed by a graphical design where each element is connected to the next and the connections determine what type of flow it's going to go between those two elements. In this case I created one already that's empty and I saved it so I could show you also how to retrieve your workflow once you've created one. So once you have your account you're going to have share, activity, and workflows tab as well as your accounts. The two most important ones that we have here are workflows and accounts. Presumably you will have added accounts and I'll show you that in a minute but first let's go to workflows. To open a workflow you just click on the, its title and you're gonna see that I gave it a title of post to Flickr and the description was pretty simple. I just, I just want to start simple with an email that will pick post a picture to Flickr. So. Let's start with that. Um, make sure you save your workflow right away after you start it. That way you have an email address which we'll, we'll use in a minute and your workflow begins to start saving. It begins to have its own space. In this case we want to post from email to Flickr. So we're going to do it very very easy. On the left hand side you're going to have properties. This is the properties of your channel and then you're going to have connectors. Under connectors you have all the different accounts and methods that are supported by Tarpipe at the moment. This list will continue to increase as time goes by and people request more. So the first one we want to look at is mail decoder. In fact, whenever you start with a mail mail drop receptor, you're gonna need a mail decoder because that is what is gonna intercept that mail and extract information from it. And we know that we want to make this a Flickr tar pipe. So we're going to grab Flickr and click on it once and it adds it to the right. And the very simple f workflow will go like this. You're going to click on subject and drag a line. And we're going to make that the title of the picture. Then we're going to say image attachment is actually the picture. If you want to post a tag for your picture for example in this case we're gonna say text input and we're going to call this mobile photos we're gonna say tags should be mo mobile photo okay there's the basic workflow that we have so far and the intention I'll walk you through it is for the mail decoder to intercept mail that you send to this address right here and from then the subject of the message will flow over to the title of the picture for Flickr the image that you attach to the message will actually become the picture any tags that we put down here will become tags of the picture so let's try doing that and save it and see how that works in this case we're going to copy this email address. We're going to go over here and we're going to say that's who it's going to go to. And in this case, I want to show a picture. So once you give it a title, we're going to go and find the picture that we want to attach. In this case, we have it under our downloads. It's called Flower Birthday Cake Test. We'll say open. And the photo is attached to that. Once you do this, we're going to hit send and see what happens. And we should be able to see that the email was received. This is actually from a previous test I was testing earlier. So after a minute or two, we should start seeing activity here. There you go. And what you get is, you get a notice that says the photo was published to Flickr. And it gives you a link. And there it is under the account and if you look under tags <clears throat> you see that it's 
posted by Tarpipe and also the tag that we selected earlier. Let's go back and expand on this a little bit. Let's say for example that now you want to also let people know on Twitter that you've posted to Flickr. Yeah, sounds a little complicated, but sometimes you want to do that because not everybody that's on Flickr is on Twitter. So you will go and use your Twitter updater. Put that over here. After you add the Twitter updater, we're going to add a message that you want to see on Twitter. Something like, hey guys. And we're going to say that this is what you want to say on your Twitter update. And what you want to do is post a picture, the link to the picture. And we're going to now save this again. It takes a mail decoder, feeds into Flickr, tags it with whatever you decided to tag. Once it does that, it also posts to Twitter and gives them an update. So let's see that run first. Send that. And we're going to pick um, Water Fountain. Water Fountain. We're going to attach a file here, which we have. Uh, we're going to look for our water fountain picture. Now we have attached that. We're going to send it. So let's go take a look at our activi activity tab and see what happens. So 12 minutes ago, we ran our other test. Now let's take a look again and see. Aha, so we have the report that an email arrived. We published a photo to Flickr. And then we posted a Twitter, uh, an update to Twitter. And here's the link. So let's take a look at that. Here's the Twitter update and a link to the photo. That concludes a uh, simple Flickr and Twitter channel that you create and post both to Flickr and then the URL goes to Twitter. Next episode I will show you how to make that even a little better. So come back and check it out.